Capricorn, I hope all is well with you. Welcome to your reading. Welcome to the channel. Um, happy Friday. We have reached the ending of the week. I have been very, 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 very busy, but I am here to do your reading. Let's grab the energy oracles. Oh, I'm actually happy because my salt lamp has had no bulb for the longest time. And I finally... On my long list of things to do like i added bulbs to that list and i finally got to it so we have the salt lamp got myself a new little candle i say little but it's quite a big one let's see what does capricorn need to be aware of at this time they're going to be doing a quick energy check-in to check what prominent energies come out first off then we're going to be clarifying with the tarot. We'll get you a main general spread. Look at your money and then leave you with something at the end to take away from the reading. Thank you to everybody who has liked, shared, commented and subscribed to the channel. I appreciate you. If you are new here, welcome. If you are returning, I am very grateful to have you here. Let's see Capricorn. What do you need to be aware of? Oh, what is that? Walking away. Some of you could be walking away from a situation. Let's see. What does Capricorn need to know? Please and thank you. Action. Rest and rejuvenation. Storm warning. But the action came out in the reverse and I kind of feel inclined to leave it that way. Rest and rejuvenation storm warning so if you've been refraining or procrastinating on making a choice or doing something maybe you've been hanging back you could be chilling or somebody to do with you this is about to change you could have been refraining from doing something taking space from a situation meditating on it you know giving it some room attachment it's almost like you're drawing something towards you or someone with the third chakra archangel shamuel i don't know if somebody's realizing how how important you are or how what like how having you around was fundamental like there's something about you and you withdrawing your energy and not acting you not being around maybe with the action being in the reverse you not being there you not you know taking action towards a certain someone is kind of like rocking somebody's foundation with the storm warning and with the attachment card somebody's realizing how attached to you they are this is somebody who's realizing how grounded you, what grounded energy you bring to a situation, how stable something was when you was coming around or when you was around them or when you was a part of something. And it's almost like absence making the heart appreciate. Like this is somebody realizing with you not putting in the energy and the effort, it's like somebody's realizing how attached they are towards you. Let's um, clarify this the hanged one yes yeah, somebody's awakening to who you are with the nine of pentacles what you bring to the table how important you were for the running of things what have you this could be anyone at this point let's see what is um capricorn doing over here with the hanging back energy you've pulled back your energy and it's causing someone to be in a storm empress in the reverse somebody didn't appreciate you and the death card so something came to an end you chose to end something you may have kind of like refused to be treated less than what you was deserving of with the four of wands in the reverse you could have left the home and things are falling apart I just get an energy of you withdrawing you ending something and something has kind of come crashing down on another person with the justice card yeah could be a libra the king of cups um somebody's like 
wondering why you're not bothered anymore like why are you not stressing why are you so unbothered like something like that with the knight of cups why do you seem to be so you know chilled out zen taking it in your stride where's the stress where's the where's the urgency it's like i don't know if you was a person who really kind of like um was a crutch for someone and they overlooked you with the empress in the reverse this is like the energy of being severely treated un like not appreciated especially if this is a marriage and i feel like you could have somebody coming in because you've withdrawn from something that wasn't helping you to flourish you wasn't being treated how you deserve to be treated with the empress in the reverse this could be a scorpio or a taurus Libra, air sign, the five of cups in the reverse, the three of cups in the reverse, the eight of pentacles in the reverse, and the four of wands in the reverse. What is all of this? With the six of swords in the reverse, with the judgment here. Oh my goodness, someone is in an, a complete storm. Things are falling apart. People could be leaving. They could be falling out with friends. They could be arguing. Nothing's working. Eight of pentacles in the reverse. So, for instance, if you had someone that was always prioritizing other things, there was always something else, okay? Um, it's like you don't know what you've got until it's gone. If you had someone prioritizing other people, other things, other places, always something else, you were never getting this person's attention. You were never considered. You were just the person that was there that did everything or the person that could have just have been, um, it seemed as though you was in an empty connection with someone. And it's like someone's someone's world is falling apart. Someone's life is falling apart. The Six of Swords is in the reverse. Things are rocky. They could be getting um, less work in. Their business could be kind of struggling. The Eight of Pentacles is in the reverse. Things are not working. People could be turning against them. People could be gossiping about this person too. Oh, wow. Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. Someone's stuck on you and how something how you disconnected from them how you no longer view them as success you're not you're not giving them attention anymore you're not giving them your time anymore something here about that and it's 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 causing somebody to be very stuck in general and i feel like because things are kind of falling apart around them they're looking back at you know this empress in the reverse energy and the death card why something ended and they know fully well it's because they didn't treat you they didn't appreciate you when they had you wow okay um what would be the outcome in this situation tell me about capricorn first the Knight of Cups. I definitely see you dating someone new with the Queen of Coins. I also see you fully investing in getting to know someone new and dating. There's no closed off energy. It's like, yeah, I know something wasn't for me with the Queen of Swords. Um, and you're very sure about where you're going and something that upset you in the past or something that could have caused you. I, I just feel like maybe you were in a situation that you started to grow resentful of the person that you was connected to due to somebody not valuing you. And um, with the Knight of Cups here, the Queen of Coins here, it's like the energy of you fully investing and immersing yourself into a new connection or getting to know someone, dating, seriously dating with the hope of connecting to somebody on a deeper level. This definitely could be a water sign, a Pisces, a Cancer or a Scorpio that you're getting to know. You could already be talking to this person even with the Magician card. Yeah, something's manifesting. Something could be going to the next level with an individual yeah yeah how is this person gonna feel someone's gonna be very peed off <laughs> very frustrated this could be a gemini libra aquarius for a swords 
Someone's going to regret being very withdrawn with you, leaving you out in the cold, making you feel like you were not good enough. Four of Swords, the Five of Coins. Someone's actions or non-action towards you or not doing enough caused you to feel very, very lost and empty in a connection. And I just see like, like the energy of somebody being in the room and you feeling as though there's no one sitting with you. Like in a whole connection, you know, and you still feel alone. With the Queen of Cups. And I feel like you were definitely trying to love on someone that just wasn't loving you. And I see you definitely. There's a heavy emphasis on you making a very big conscious effort with the Queen of Pentacles. To put your energy, your time, your good, good vibe. The skills that you bring to the table. You could be mothers for some of you. Okay. You're fully going to immerse yourself on getting to know this new person. Because this person is going to be showing you attention. Interest. Care. Compassion. Patience. Where someone else wasn't. Yeah. That's what I see. The star in the reverse the queen of cups somebody rejected your love i'm hearing hopeless romantic maybe you guys are hopeless romantic people someone didn't reciprocate someone kind of like um yeah someone did not appreciate you whatsoever so how is this going to end up for this person that's showing up in the reading that's going through the tower the storm energy how is this going to go for this person the knave of coins in the reverse this person is very very stuck stagnant nothing's moving to, to the knight of pentacles the knave of coins something's at a standstill screeching halt since you left nothing has been the same very very stuck with the six of coins this could also be someone who's stuck on how that you generous you were, how reciprocal you was trying to be, and how stubborn and non-reactive, non non non-starting that this person was. Mm. The devil. The seven of wands in the reverse six of coins and the three of coins someone's learning something very valuable about reciprocation and they're getting karma the devil can sometimes talk to me depending on the cards that are around it about a very strong dose of karma where the universe kind of <laughs> turns up the dial on the furnace to allow someone to feel this standstill energy that i'm picking up on with this person with the seven of wands in the reverse it's like this is an energy that they're going to have to immerse themselves into in order to learn a lesson this is harsh and i feel like it has a lot to do with cooperation compromise give and take as to the reason as to why they're experiencing such a standstill it's almost like the universe putting somebody in a time out a silent period a time where nothing is going on i'm gonna put the brakes on everything you've got going on to weed out everything to clear out everything to stop the noise so you can concentrate on why you seem to think that not cooperating and not reciprocating is acceptable. Somebody took you for granted and I feel like spirit is, is, is laying into someone in a very, very big way. Nothing's moving forward for this person. Queen of Cups. Appreciate what you have when you have it. Not after the fact. And I feel like after the fact now, someone's realizing that they should have put in more effort where it came to you. Somebody's realizing they should have nurtured the connection where it came to you. Somebody's realizing how stubborn and how stuck they were creating a situation where things were not moving forward in a relationship. So now things cannot move forward for them until they understand the lesson with the devil card, the six of coins and the three of coins. Whatever it is that they were putting above the connection or prioritizing over this and over nurturing you with the empress in the reverse. This is being put to rest so they can sit with themselves and reacclimatize themselves with what cooperation looks like and what equal give and take looks like too
the fool in the reverse, the hanged man, somebody's realizing that they made a very poor choice and justice is in the reverse. This is heavy karma, heavy, heavy karma. Not the best of luck at all. Very bad luck. They've accumulated some sort of, I don't know how long, long this person was doing this in this connection, how long you stayed in this connection, but this is somebody who feels heavily attached to you because they are stuck because they are being put in a situation where they are appreciating when people are giving them love. It's like they're looking back at a situation and thinking, I should have done that then. That time when that person cooked me that meal and, you know, invited me to sit with them to have a chat about the day, I should have put whatever it was that I was doing over there down for just that 10, 15 minutes to sit and have that meal to appreciate the meal that was cooked for me when that person brought me that book, because they know that I was interested in, you know, space, the galaxy, planets, random example. Um, and they ordered, picked me up the book from the bookshop or they ordered it from Amazon or wherever. I should have taken the time to actually say thank you rather than just taking it off the table and then um, not acknowledging that that person did that for me. That time when this person, you know, booked tickets to go and see that person in concert and I decided at the last moment, I said yes, then I decided at the last moment that something else came up and I wasn't going to make it and I let them down, causing them to lose their money. And I didn't show much in terms of making it up to that person or apologising genuinely. I should have made more of an effort to either make up for not being able to make it or showing more thanks and appreciation for the gesture that this person did towards me. This is somebody who's experiencing a run of bad luck because of not appreciating what they had. I hope I've made that clear. Those were random examples, by the way. Yeah, random examples. I remember, I'm gonna share a little bit of a story because it, it's, it's relevant. So I remember, um, I was with someone and I made the effort to, I had just had my son at the time, and I had made the effort to purchase some tickets because um, my partner at the time had a cousin who was a performer, and he had just got a contract at a holiday park, like one of those kind of staycation places, but it would have been that we would have had to have tra traveled to another state or another place that was outside where we was so I remember surprising um him with these tickets um surprising him with these take tickets and we I had just had my son and it was going to be like a first I don't remember how old my son was at that time I don't know if he was like about two months old or he was very young um and it was going to be a surprise for his family member who we were going to see to kind of like say congratulations on the new contract and the new job and what have you. Um, and I remember that I got turned down, um, something happened and he was adamant that he wasn't gonna go with me to have this first little trip away. And um, my, I lost my money and it, was more, it wasn't even about the money, it was more about the principle, but it was just very little appreciation for the gesture and um, that trip never got we never went on that trip and it is something that's always stuck with me because there was no attempt to make up for it like even with just apologizing you know it was very very cold but yeah I'm sure we've all got stories where we can tell about times when we haven't been appreciated to, to full capacity you know yeah that really disappointed me. But you know, oh well. We live and we learn, right? Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Where are we? We're going to grab you a main spread. Main spread. Main, main spread. Let's go here. Messages for Capricorn. Tell me about Capricorn. Please and thank you. Messages for Capricorn. Messages for Cap. We've got the devil in the reverse. That's you with the two of pentacles. You could be not investing in someone anymore. You could be dropping someone or you're choosing, you're making a choice. The five of cups. The crone of swords, the queen of cups. Who's switching up here? Are you switching up? Are you going cold on someone? Are you going cold on someone? The three of wands? You're distancing yourself. You was once very um, emotionally connected to someone and you're detaching. And it's putting somebody in a very sad space here. The five of cups. The ten of pentacles. Somebody misses their family. Six of pentacles in the reverse. Who was in a one-sided connection? Someone wasn't reciprocating, so you decided to detach. Or someone's deciding to detach from a connection here. And with the devil card, that's your energy, Capricorn. Being in the reverse, I feel like this is you that's detaching and you're becoming cold. Or not as emotionally invested. You're choosing to invest in things that are going to be filling your cup. There could be a lot at stake here. You could have had to have let go of something pretty big here with the Ten of Pentacles. The moon card. Someone is really, really upset that you're not giving to them anymore with the high priestess in the reverse. Somebody didn't listen to their intuition. It's kind of giving similar energy. I'll be honest with you, um, Capricorn. It's giving similar energy to somebody leaving another person out in the cold. Um... This could also be somebody who now the tables have turned on and they now feel like they are missing out. Somebody feels like they're missing out on a gem, like a gem. Like, I can't stress that enough. Somebody feels like they didn't listen to their intuition and they regret playing games because it's kind of, it, it's put them in an energy of being left out or shut out of some sort of union or being involved with someone here, someone that they regard now of, of value. It's like seeing somebody's value, seeing somebody's um, efforts after the fact. And with the hermit in the reverse, this is somebody who was extremely lost. They could have been definitely lost in the source with the three of cups, chose all the wrong things, all the wrong people, did all the wrong stuff. When there was a commitment here to be had with the hierophant, spirit was trying to guide this person to choose a different path than what they may have decided to choose and somebody's realizing that they could have chose wrong they didn't choose the path of elevation they didn't choose to hold on to something that spirit was trying to push them to you know answer the call to take the journey on they took the path of possibly playing games not enlightened not you know mastering self not mastering self-control somebody could have very very poor self-control especially sexually sleeping around the empress in the reverse again what deck did i just use and the empress in the reverse came out it wasn't this deck it was this deck right i'm trying to work out if it's the same deck it's this it's a different deck and the empress is in the reverse again taurian energy Somebody doesn't want you to walk away from them, but they also know they did not treat you right, absolutely, so you are well within your right to disconnect from them. With the Eight of Pentacles in the reverse and the Strength card in the reverse, someone is being released like a hot potato. Released like a bad habit. Wow. Someone regrets 
not being equal with you. Someone regrets putting you on the back burner and now you're detaching. It's almost like they can't stand it. They can't stand it. Let's clarify. I see a potential for new love here. You could be opening up to someone romantically. Again, I see an appreciation of feeling. So if you were in a situation where you wasn't appreciated before or somebody took that for granted, your care, your love, your compassion, your patience with them, you could have tried to be very, very patient with them to the point where you just decided to throw in the towel, especially emotionally. And now you're disconnecting, you're becoming cold. Your emotions towards a person is not the same. It's almost like the energy of... Um, you put in a lot of effort. You were trying to fight for someone and it's almost like somebody didn't fight for you. So you are going to be going where you're appreciated. There's an energy here of going where you are appreciated. Your feelings, your time, your, your patience, all of that stuff. The two of swords. Yeah, you are putting up, up some sort of guard. You don't want to know anymore. You, you are releasing someone. You're blocking somebody out of your energy. You're detaching in a very big way, though, with the devil energy. That's, yeah, death card. For you, it's done. Yeah. You're withdrawing. You're withdrawing from someone. But they they are watching you as you kind of do this. Tell me about the Kronosaurs. This could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, death card. You want something to be over and you've decided that with the Ten of Wands. You've decided that it's too hard why should it be hard this is like the energy of why am i fighting to be loved when i love myself number one with the queen of cups and there are plenty of individuals out there that will appreciate and love me too why am i fighting for this struggle bus love like why why am i running after a, a bus of love that is 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 leaving and is you know not trying to help me to catch up to it I don't know if you somebody made you chase them or it was just too difficult. It was like taking blood out of a stone, pulling out your teeth. You're choosing to end something here. And I feel like it's really getting somebody. It's getting somebody. Wheel of Fortune in the reverse and the Justice card. Do you remember we had the Justice card in the previous spread? This is bad karma. The Wheel of Fortune in the reverse with the justice in the reverse. Someone has got some serious karma attached to whatever it was that they were doing or not doing with the Six of Pentacles. Same energy. Wow. Different decks, same energy. Someone was cold, stubborn, unwilling to change. King of Coins. This person could pay you child support. You could have a daughter with this person. This could be an Aries. Somebody cared so much about money and outside appearances that they allowed that to get them shut out of a good thing. Somebody could also owe you child support for a daughter or a child. Queen of coins in the reverse. Yeah, someone could owe you money. Someone could owe you um, child support. Literally, this is giving child support here with the world card. It's like you've now turned into the person towards this person that they were towards you. Somebody was very, very cold with you. No emotions, only cared about money. This is the type of person that ticks boxes. Yeah, that's paid. Yeah, that's done. Yeah, the kids have shoes. Yeah. Doesn't matter about emotions. There's not one cup associated with, to this person. But yet you're here in the Queen of Cups. And you're now turning cold with the um, Crone of Swords. Because of the energy that this person was in. So it's almost like giving them the energy that they've been giving you. For, for however long. Ten of Pentacles. The world. Yeah. Something. Wow. This could be a whole marriage that's coming to an end. The Ten of Pentacles and the Hierophant in the reverse with the world. Something is done, done. And somebody is now regretting their actions. But what I will say about this person. 
Three of coins. Yeah, it's a lesson in reciprocation and being foolish. They, they feel foolish that they didn't work with you or put more effort into getting on the same page and reasoning with you with the six of swords in the reverse. Someone kept it rocky because they were procrastinating on what was important, which was, you know, solidifying a union, trying to get on the same page, trying to make something better between the two of you. And they chose not to do that, hence the karma. There was a lot at stake in a situation, especially if this is a marriage. And it's like, you know, ticking boxes. That's what I was saying. It's like ticking boxes. Yeah. The kid has shoes. Yeah. I paid for the house. Yeah. I did this, but they're never home. Or you don't get to sit down and connect with them. There definitely could be, There's. it's like ships in the night. Like there could have definitely been a dynamic where you felt very alone and you had a whole marriage connection. Someone wasn't connecting with another person emotionally. They became very, very cold and detached with you while you were here sitting in nurturing energy. You was possibly expected to nurture them, nurture the children, nurture the home. The Ten of Pentacles is here. Nurture all of this stuff. But there was no... It, it feels dead. Like, it's dead. I can't, I can't explain it any better than that. Like something is completely dead because there's no emotion. What, what, we're just literally robots. It's robotic. And I feel like somebody put you in this situation where it's like, I have emotion for this person, but they're not showing me not one bit of emotion. It's all about the money. It's all about the success. It's all about climbing to the top, having the status but they really came across as an a-hole because somebody had no emotions. Hope that makes sense. This person made you emotionally unstable and this is something that you don't want to feel again with the two of cups. You could be connecting with someone new. Heavy emphasis on you connecting on a new person and choosing not to move forward with someone um, that really put you in a space that made you question yourself. You could have definitely have questioned your confidence um, you could have started to see yourself different. Am I attractive? You know, what if I do this to my body? Or what if I, yeah, it, it's grim. It's grim with the judgment card. And somebody, that's why somebody's getting karma. Because they put you in a space where you were in a situation where you had a contract with this person to fulfill. And um, with the moon card, this created a lot of insecurity. The unknown and the unstable nature of this connection really threw you emotionally and this is somebody who was supposed to make the choice to invest and to work with you adequately and they chose not to do that you, they had you questioning yourself your confidence your sanity possibly feeling like you know where am i what am i doing and to the point where no wonder why you're going cold on someone and it's it's triggering some sort of effect where somebody's receiving and reaping what they sow basically someone's reaping what they sow i see you connecting to someone new you may even hide this you may even keep this to yourself there's a new offer here that you could be indulging in very much could be an, a water sign could be a sagittarius too this is a connection that's going to bring you a lot of peace where you've been in a very unrest situation there's not been peace no wonder you're disconnecting I can see exactly why you're disconnecting from this person. Mm. I hope that makes sense. And a lot of people, you know, a lot of people find themselves in dead end connections because of this reason. Or connections that just seem to start off okay and then one person just decides to go cold or put other things first i don't know you you are switching up on a person you're detaching and someone can't really take it why did that come out quickly before we move to your money nine of cups in the reverse to tell you that somebody's not happy ace of pentacles while wow, you get a blessing and you see the reason as to why something had to happen. Yeah, the death card in the reverse. Someone, someone is suffering and struggling with moving on from you. Um, 
but I do feel like somebody put all the wrong things before you. Status, looking good, cars, money, possibly women as well, men, whoever. Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. Somebody could definitely owe you child support. Somebody could owe you money. If you don't have children, they could owe you money. Take that how it resonates. Um, there's an energy here of you being notified that someone is not happy, okay? Um, somebody's having a lot of second thoughts about the choices that they have made, what they've chosen to invest in, and an ending. And this is somebody who is struggling to move on through turmoil, pain, loss. You definitely did not get appreciated for who you was, what you bring to the table. Big, big, big um, energy of, you know, being treated unfairly. Possibly being dismissed for other things. And I see a blessing coming in here because I feel like this is showing you that you're about to meet someone that is going to be treating you a lot better and putting you in a better space than what this person did. And it's because you've stood up to yourself. There's that cold energy. I feel like you needed to turn into someone who was get, kind of getting a certain treatment from an individual and you had to kind of like play it the same with the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. And now someone is very, very stuck on you page of swords in the reverse they can't stop spying on you and you see how you come out in the upright now because you're about to be treated how you deserve to be treated i see you meeting someone new and your health is probably going to improve you're going to feel better about yourself you're going to feel more grounded and it's because you're not around someone who is shortchanging you because you're not around someone who is failing to act not taking action putting all other things before the connection and yourself with the magician in the reverse the eight of wands crone of cups in the reverse somebody's an emotional wreck and it's because they put you in the energy of being emotionally void because of their actions I feel like this is to let you know that somebody's receiving karma for their actions and how they treated you. And somebody's learning a very, very valuable lesson about give and take. Mm. Let's look at your money. Messages for Capricorn. The heart, emotional spending, joint finances. Treasure, worry-free finances, money in reserve and excess. Be careful of overspending because you've received a windfall. Okay, so if you are doing particularly well right now, if you are receiving a lot of um, monetary blessings, okay, you could have definitely received something or you're just making more money now. You could have had an increase in your pay. Um, don't splash out too much on things that you don't need or things just because you got it like that do you know what i mean make sure you're saving for a rainy day the anchor money blocks being stuck financially sound i see a lot of stability i see something being very very stable for you but you making sure that you make um good choices where it comes to money and what you spend on you may need to tidy up your spending light bulb lucrative ideas new income source inspiration yeah some of you could be um starting your own business as well and that's going to be taking off for you some of you could also be doing the groundwork to start a business um some of you are working towards some sort of financial freedom as well and um you could definitely be popping out with something that people didn't expect um, or some of you are sitting on a gold mine where you could be making money and you are not because you haven't taken a leap or you've not um, kind of honed in on the niche or what is that that skill that you are going to be really good at. The coins, money coming in, wealth, good investment. Yeah, very lucky energy. I see you receiving an increase in your money. Your wealth is going to take off is what I'm seeing. five of swords don't sabotage yourself through spending and buying things you don't need buying just because you can you know yeah because you're, you're because you're receiving good financial karma i see definitely enjoy yourself you know 
buy yourself whatever you need but don't you know go on this whole rampage of i'm gonna spend all my money because i got this money and this happened and i got that advance and you know i got that tip and i got whatever be constructive with the choices that you're making financially don't get lost in that source with the queen of swords be intelligent be smart yes you're getting justice yes you're comfortable yes you're sitting pretty yes you're abundant you know that meme with the guy that's pointing to his head with the little afro cut going on be smart yeah i think he does that actually the death card the two of wands yeah make choices wisely because as 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 quick as what this abundance is coming in with the ten of cups is as quick as what it could come to an end be very constructive with how you spend your money so maybe you're going through a season of you know good karma maybe you're going through a season where you are comfortable maybe you're going through a season where you're getting a lot of sales if you run a business but with the full be constructive okay be constructive because that season may drop you know as we know it does go in season sometimes times of year are more quiet sometimes businesses are not booming okay as much as others with the king of pentacles in order to you know stabilize and to continue to be stable make sure you're making good choices yeah king and queen of pentacles and the hierophant some of you are walking into marriage here with the empress wow if you're a feminine you could be getting pregnant or you're pregnant i feel like yeah with the five of wands i feel like you have it's coming out again so i've got to say it with the lovers in the reverse i feel like somebody's going to be very disappointed that they lost you And there's an energy here of you coming together with a, there's a power couple dynamic. You may even be meeting somebody who you can go into business with, like start up a family business where you're going to work together. And with the Hierophant, it's going to be very, very solid. You may feel guided. Both of you may feel guided to take on a venture or a, um, some sort of money venture that's going to really pay off with the Empress and the Ace of Cups. This is going to fill up your bellies this is gonna you know fill up your home this is gonna put you in a very good situation financially i feel like you're gonna meet someone here even if this is not a spouse um you're gonna meet someone here who will be very very beneficial to work with coming up here so stay open to new ideas and business prospects with the star yes could be an aquarius that you're meeting yeah definitely somehow for some of you your relationship connects to your work you could just be meeting someone at work you could be two very established people that are coming together in some sort of guided soulmate union okay and you've got someone from your past that's going to be very very regretful when they see what you're about to create with another person because this could have been somebody who utilized your skills in terms of bouncing off of and creating something really beautiful something that could have been very very solid i'm hearing stand the test of time but they chose otherwise and you're going to have an another chance with it at, with someone else is kind of what i'm seeing especially if you're interested in a business or you do the same thing for work or something something like that something like that is what i'm seeing Let's pull you a message to take away from the reading, Capricorn. I hope you've enjoyed the reading. Thank you for still being here if you are still watching. I have, um, I don't know if I'm going to get another reading. I might, I might do the evening, but I have, I'm doing a favour for a friend. I'm picking up my son's friend from school. So I'm going to be, I'm going to have my son's friend here for a couple of hours after school so once things quiet and down i might come back on here to go to aquarius we'll see what does capricorn need to take away from this the most spiders could be very significant here i've never seen there's a spider on the three of swords in the tattoo tarot ten of coins the knave of coins in the reverse the seven of swords the six of wands in the reverse 
the nine of cups in the reverse and the nine of wands somebody really regrets their past actions it's come out it's been echoing throughout the reading two of swords but they don't want people to know neither do they want you to know how down and out they are you've got someone really in the dumps with the three of swords and the seven of swords this is like consequences of actions type of energy the seven of swords and the six of wands in the reverse whatever it was that this person was doing hiding keeping um or not doing choose which one you know for your own particular situation don't force it to fit it's it, it's just realizing that they're at a loss this is the energy of choosing all the wrong things and then realizing that now they're stuck a lot was at stake here and i feel like you could have been in a dynamic whether this was a marriage or not where there was a potential for a very solid foundation between you and a person and it may have started off that way but something happened where um someone definitely was making poor choices and you being one of them i feel like somebody made an extremely poor choice with the nine of cups in the reverse there's an energy here of somebody being very very unhappy with their actions of the past somebody could also view themselves as childish or that they moved in a way that they are not proud of where it comes to you and a connection i feel like you've got someone here who is hiding the fact that they are receiving a backside whooping from the universe in a very big way and i feel like you've got someone here who's learning a lesson I don't feel like this person will conduct themselves this way in a connection again. That's how profound this energy is. Capricorn, I love you. Keep fighting the good fight. I love you, I love you, I love you. Sending you blessings. Have a good weekend, Capricorn. Thank you so much for supporting me, rocking with me. Thank you so much for liking, sharing, subscribing if you have done so. And I will see you again soon. Happy Friday. Have a good weekend. Bye.